In today's video, we'll see how we can create a firewall rule to block the internet access to different devices. These devices are grouped in alias. And if you want to know how to create the alias, I have explained in a different video and link is provided in the description. And we'll be blocking the access to these kids devices during a specific schedule. And if you see here in firewall schedules, I have mentioned that schedule and this schedule is right now active. So how we'll do that, we'll just go to firewall rule here and we'll create a rule here. And in order to create the rule, you can simply add that rule. Now, from where you want to allow or deny the access, of course, we want to deny the access from LAN to the WAN. So how we'll do that, we'll be simply adding a new rule on the top. And here, I'll be choosing the action block. And what we'll do here, interface will be LAN, IP address family will be IPv4, and protocol will be any. So any traffic coming from the LAN will be blocked. But what will be the source? So here source will be address or alias. And here the alias will be kids. You can see here kids devices. These are the aliases which are available. And this alias was created and destination destination could be van address or specific van network but i'll be choosing any destination but i don't want to block this all the times i want to block the internet access only during the specific time so what will be that time i'll be just going here to display advanced setting here you can see you will see the schedule also here so if i go down here schedule will be choosing from the drop down list sleep time and down here we'll save this changes now now if you see here that sleep time is right now active that's why it is showing me here and right now the rule is not applied a rule is created i can bring this on top right now it is already on top down you can see here that the access from the lan network is allowed on any network and access from kids devices is blocked on every network on that particular schedule if i apply the changes now the rule is now active right now it is sleep time and if you hover over to kids devices you will see all the ip addresses of those kids devices if you hover over to this it will show you the schedule also that which particular schedule is active so if i click this you will see here that this particular schedule is active right now so in case you want to remove any entry of the schedule you can do that which i'll do later but i just want to show you how this particular firewall rule will be active so here is the firewall rule from the lan here you can see that traffic has started passing and based on that the traffic is being blocked right now you can of course monitor traffic also here so this log is also created and if i go back here to firewall rules LAN rule you can see here this is the statistics which is available now for example if you want to schedule it again as i mentioned that i want to block this on a different time so i'll be editing this and i'll just delete this particular rule from here and now if you see that the sleep time is not active and if i go to firewall rule rules and LAN rule right now you can see this is inactive now this is not active you can hover over it it will show you that this rule is not currently active because its period has expired so the moment it will be 10 o'clock the rule will be automatically applied and the internet access to the kids devices will be blocked during the sleep time and what is that sleep time you can see it over here so this way you can have a limited access to your kids devices or if you are in your corporate environment definitely if you want to block the access to different devices from external network to internal or from internal to external of course this will help you to have a better control better security or during the office hours if you want to activate the schedule if you want to activate different firewall rules you can apply those firewall rules depending upon your needs and requirements depending upon what schedule you want to define so depending upon what type of devices you want to add into that schedule if you see here this firewall rule that we created it has only these devices so not all the devices are blocked 
not all the devices are blocked under this rule and my device right now is also on the same network but my device is not blocked so depending upon how you are managing the devices on your network you can apply different firewall rules